is a lucky face too uh, because these are supporters of ob uh they scheduled uh, will be that t23 for whatever rally for today october uh first uh, 2022 in lagos state Uh, members of the Rapid Response Squad and Lagos State Tax Force, uh, we can also see them here. And of course, this uh, they were deployed um, after a federal high court uh, that sat in Lagos State on Wednesday, all that the Labour Party and its supporters not to co converge at the Lekki Toll Gate for its planned uh, rally uh, for the party's presidential candidate, uh, Peter Obi. And of course, uh, this is uh, Lekki Face, Lekki Toll Gates, uh, Lekki Face One, and of, um, there's a full compliance here uh, because of this law. But such is not the case at Surulere. This is Surulere uh, right now, and of course, the rally, Peter Obi rally, is currently going on there. And use our resources well for the public good. Vote wisely. Vote or be all the way. Vote for prosperous and progressive Nigeria. Nigeria shall be great again. Thank you. God bless you.
are suffering poverty in the land, bandicoot, kidnapping and so much. Men, we are tired of this. If, if we can't get it right, these people, they will take our country from us. And it is high time, it is high time we come and recover our country. We can no longer go to the bush to go and farm. Farmers are dying. People are kidnapped. They are being kidnapped every day and the government is not doing anything about it. We are no longer safe to travel by road again and nobody can afford traveling by air. Imagine going from Lagos to Abuja on air is about 80 to 100,000. How many people have that money where well, minimum wages is 30,000 naira, and not all state governments are ready to pay the minimum wages. We are tired. We are tired. We are tired because if we, can, if we don't speak now, if we can't fix it now, we don't know if there's going to be another Nigeria. So it is right time we all come together as a unified people and decide who is going to lead us and who is this credible person is Peter Obi. When we started this, they say we are four people tweeting in a room. Today, I believe they are all in shock. This is happening across four areas in Lagos. This is just lucky own. And you can see the population. It's the same thing is happening in Festac Town. The same thing happening in Keja and Suru Lere. So Abuja was a shock. Lagos is a big blue. Thank you guys. We have to fix the country. Gracias. 